soil moisture is one of the most important parameters in um, global ecosystem studies. It determines weather patterns, so it's one of the most important things that the scientists are interested in when they study global climate change. Mata Magadam and Mingyan Liu are two professors in the University of Michigan's Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science. This summer, with help from graduate students, they expanded their lab into the garden. The goal of the project is to set up a network of in-situ soil moisture sensors. The engineers are working on a NASA-sponsored project to accurately measure soil moisture. Can you help me with this? Only to... The idea is to yes. uh, come up with smart yes, exactly. techniques for validating what we derive from satellite data. Let's go to the next one. So if you have a satellite and it's way up there and it measures this whole area as just one number, it's very hard to, for us to validate that number uh, unless we have several sensors on the ground. I, use, I will use a screw here. Soil moisture it can change very fast from place to place and as a function of time. For example, today we had rain. So as soon as it rains, of course, the, the very dry ground gets wet. Naturally, I mean, we're here under the tree for a reason because it doesn't get wet <laughs> so quickly. Right, so you could tell within a, a distance of just a few meters, soil moisture could change pretty drastically. So if you have a satellite and it's way up there and it measures this whole area as just one number, it's very hard to, for us to validate that number uh, unless we have several sensors on the ground to somehow make the correspondence between what we measure on the ground and what the satellite measures. So that's the whole purpose of the project. And if you want to deploy the sensors in an extensive way, we can't have sensors that are wired to our measurement station, right? We need to have wireless sensors. And that's where Mingyan's work comes into the picture because she's an expert in sensor networks, wireless sensor networks. So the basic idea is, um, as you have seen today here, is um, uh, each location has consists of three underground soil moisture probes and they are being actuated, controlled by a uh, wireless ground module. So this module actuates the sensors, collects the data, and wirelessly transmit the data back to a uh, collector, base station. From what we retrieve on the ground, which we call the truth, because we actually measured it on the ground, we adjust the satellite measurements, we validate them, so that uh, later on we could expand this adjustment to everywhere else on the globe. The reason I'm really interested in soil moisture and problems having to do with water in general is that water is a very scarce natural resource. As the population of the earth increases, water is going to become uh, more and more scarce per person because there's only so much fresh water available and we all depend on it to live. Right, so being able to understand how water gets distributed in the earth, how it cycles and how we can best utilize it uh, is going to be a huge issue. Uh, in the coming years for, for everyone in the world.